Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we will be talking about my very minimalistic makeup. Things that I pack on my trip, on vacation. It's finally this time of the year. We are all, hopefully, most of us are traveling. So I basically put everything in this uh, LV Nice mini this is the mini size so i guess this is the middle size because they have no i'm sorry that's not a middle size because they have the original niece which is humongous but there is a bb which is slightly bigger than this and there's a mini and that now it's nano which i don't own so um yes i put all my makeup in this miss niece <laughs> mini and that's pretty much what i'm gonna take on my vacation so let's see what's inside and let's have some fun since i have this cosmetic case for a well, little while i would say about two years or so my main complaint main complaint is the zippers they are so difficult to open you guys it's just driving me nuts no matter how much i use it it's always a struggle. The zippers are always a struggle. And I mean, you can tell. <laughs> so anyway, and you know, it's funny because Louis Vuitton, like in the past, like they always have super, super smooth zippers. And I know this is probably an awkward way to kind of zip anything, you know, it's not like a top zipper, but still it is so difficult. Even with my BB, it's still difficult. So anyway, here's what I have you guys. Here's a quick, I don't want to drop anything but here's a quick overview that's what's in here and I think we're just gonna go by one one by one and I'm just gonna show you exactly what I have but you can tell that I pack this baby to the brim this actually I can probably put a few more things in here but that's basically what I'm gonna need okay and I have a new foundation you guys that I really really love so Let's get started. So obviously on the very top, you see I have my Tatcha primer. I know I could have probably take a little bit smaller primer, but you know, it fits and I do like it. I do enjoy. If you're not familiar with the Tatcha primer, oh, you have to get it. This is a liquid primer. So um, they have one like looking like a soap, <laughs> you know, like more uh, like a solid, but this one's liquid. I absolutely love it. So this is the first thing that's in my cosmetic case. All right, um, now we have to, my foundation is at the very bottom actually. So we'll have to kind of go from, from the top. <laughs> so, the mascara that I have been using recently, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills. I love this mascara, you guys. I think this is one of the best mascaras. Of course, my very favorite is the Chanel Volume de Chanel, but this one is a close one. I really, really like it. Although I would say that this one is probably a little bit more clumpy than Chanel Volume de Chanel, but you know, it has a very similar kind of wand and uh, I like it. <laughs> So I'm going to be taking this mascara with me and then something that is actually kind of optional but I was thinking, it, hey, it did fit and I'm going to show you guys. It's this little guy in here. I don't think this is available anymore though. So if you have it, you're the lucky one. This is the quad uh, from Hourglass and I think it was the Christmas edition, last Christmas edition. This is the one that comes with... Uh, bronzer blush powder and highlighter you pretty much have everything <laughs> that's not what on my face today I will link all my makeup down below what's on my face but this was just something that I thought I will take it with me because it's just basically it's like everything in one you know so it's easy to travel with it's easy to use and it did fit so <laughs> but you know it's obviously kind of optional um all right let's move on so the next thing that i am not happy about how much actually room it takes but it's something that i cannot live without this is the secret brightening powder this is from the laura mercier and this basically <laughs> see i open it it just goes everywhere this is basically like a white powder and i cannot live without this this goes always every single day religiously under my eyes so to set up my concealer basically this is so lightweight lightweight so finely milled i just need it okay and it just unfortunately does not come in different packaging so 
I hate it for travel, but it's necessity. I cannot live without that. So, speaking of powders, my face powder that I've been using recently for the past, I don't know, two months or so is the Gucci Press Powder. Mine is in the 01. So this is the lightest color. And the only complaint is that it is very bulky. <laughs> you know, the packaging is, is not travel friendly, but that's what I have been using. That's what I want to kind of take with me. So obviously that's what we're going to take, but I am not too happy about, you know, the size of this compact, but it is what it is. All right, the next bigger thing I have, it's something, sorry for the glare. <laughs> this is the Patrick Ta, and I mentioned this in one of my favorites quite some time ago. This is the contour, she's statuesque, so this is the color, and this is basically like a contour and the bronzer. So I cannot live without this. So you have, um, let me show you this guys. So under, <laughs> okay, I'm not the best with this. Here is the, the contour and this is the powder that's why you have a little flop that it covers it and then obviously you have a bronzer and both of these are really good for my skin tone uh, for my complexion i think they look amazing on me and i have been using this religiously so love it it comes with you know different colors for different skin tones obviously but i love 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 this item okay the next thing is i took this blush but if i take honestly you guys if i take this with me i probably don't need the blush but this is the blush that i have on today this is fresco from laura mercier and this is one of those little blushes but it's very nice it's kind of a a little peachy a little mauvey it's like and it has a little sheen so I'm not sure if you can tell probably you can tell there's a little sheen so it's really a nice nice blush i think these blushes from laura mercier are really good i don't have any more colors but i know there are there is a lot of different colors that she has so yeah all right let me show you guys how it looks like by the way i do have a little organizer in here um this is zumoni i believe this is the zumoni organizer or maybe i'm lying maybe it's not zumoni I don't know but <laughs> yeah that's a little organized it does help to kind of keep you know things in place so let's just keep going because i finally got to the foundation so you guys this foundation is like a discovery of the month this is amazing that's what i have on today that's what i have been wearing for the past i don't know two weeks not even two weeks i got it just kind of recently maybe 10 days or so um this is esther lauder moisturizing makeup uh futurist hydra hydra rescue i cannot even read this but this is so good you guys you know and for those who really love the uh, estee lauder foundation i know that foundation can be like a little cakey you know um but this is so lightweight and by the way it's spf 45 i have in the lightest color ports line one and zero this is so lightweight, like you won't be able to hear it, but sometimes I just shake it, shake it, shake it. And when you, uh, you know, just pour it over your hand, it's quite um, liquidy, okay? But like a pump and a half, it's enough to cover my entire face. I love this foundation and it's so long wearing, perfect. And I love, you know, the, there is a pump, obviously. I love that you can just kind of squeeze it and, you know, and just go, this is so good. This is my newest discovery. <laughs> and I was like so sad with my foundations. Like I don't need foundations, but hey, you know, you never know. All right, uh, the brow product, something that I cannot live without. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills. You all probably know this is the, um, the brow pencil. You know, this is the one with the very fine tip. And I have it in a medium brown. Of course, there is a spoolie here at the end uh i lost the cup for this but yeah this this has to go with me then of course i have my trusty tom ford liquid eyeliner this one has a double sided too so this is the side that i use most of the time i love this side and the side that i use very rarely is the little felt side do you see this how it's 
has a very tiny tip, but I almost never use this one to be honest with you. I like the more kind of brushy brushy side. Okay, um, we got just a few items left, you guys. Take a look at here. So I'm gonna uh, keep going with the bottom side. Um, Dior, this is the lip plumper, what is it called? Here's how it looks like. This is one of those the, that makes your lips, lips maximizer, that's what it's called. Uh, you know, it just makes your lips a little bit more plump, a little bit, I'm just gonna look at here, a little bit more juicy. I love this. And this is great to use, you know, during the day, all the time, it's it's just fine. Couple of lipsticks that I'm gonna take with me. The one that I'm wearing today, this is from, I think this is Claire de Paul. This is Bamboo. Oh my goodness, you guys, this is such a beautiful lipstick. Oh, love, 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 love this lipstick. It's just amazing. This is what I have on today, and I put a little bit of the Chanel uh, lip gloss 119 just to give it a little bit more pinkish tone because this one is quite nude but the you know the the moisture moisturization is that how you say it <laughs> sorry for my pronunciation but um you know like the juiciness that you get you know this nice because it's very um hydrating lipstick and if you want a little bit more color so you can just pair it with anything basically i mean you can even pair it with this um, this is one of my favorite Gucci product. Oh, you guys, this lipstick is my life. This lipstick is just amazing. Oh, I love this one so much. I'll link all of it down below. This is the one I mentioned it so many times. It comes in this tube. And by the way, the Chanel was 119. That's one of my favorite lip glosses. It looks so good. It looks so good. I have these two on today. Couple of more things, you guys. Um, <laughs> we are almost done we're almost done here on this little packet on the side i have this is the sculpting powder from kevin aquan i cannot live without this okay this is just something that i need to have it and as you can see i hit the pen on this i basically use it like around my nose you know just to kind of uh sculpt a little bit just to give me some definition i really love this product as far as the eyeshadow goes, I really was thinking first to take my bigger palette, which probably wouldn't fit in here, um, which is the Glam palette from Natasha Denona because I love this so much and you can put so many different looks, but I'm going to be very minimalistic and honestly, you guys, if I remember, every time I go on vacation, I even barely do my eye makeup. I put an eyeliner and mascara and I'm good to go. So, and of course I do my face, but the eye is usually the the quickest one to drop. So I will take my favorite little, <laughs> like little compact eyeshadow. And this is the mini nude palette from Natasha Denona. I spoke about this baby so many times. Let me open it so you won't see the glare. I absolutely love it. I have it on today. That's what's on my eyes. There's just so many looks, you guys, that I can put using these eyeshadows. It's amazing. I love this little guy. So this is what I will be taking with me. And then a couple of more, oh, one more eye thing. This is the Dior, this is the Dior, what is it called? The eye pencil, Dior Show 24, Dior Show 24 hours stylo, intense waterproof eyeliner that's what it is called and you just take the top and you twist it here is the product and there's a little smudger here at the end which i never never use i wish there was like little um what is it called like a little little sharpener would be probably a better choice than but you know there is a smudger but i do love it i always put it here on the bottom you know so if you see something here on my uh bottom lash that's where i that's where i use i always put a tom ford on the top of my lashes but on the bottom i like to use a brown eyeliner so obviously the dior has it in so many different colors but <clears throat> the brown is the one that i love okay another thing that i cannot live without if i do my eye makeup is the sashido it's called 24 hour photo finish shadow primer and as you guys can tell i have it very little left um because i have it for a little while but this is probably the best eyeshadow primer that i ever came across okay the best there is nothing better i absolutely love this eyeshadow primer so 
this has to go whatever I do my makeup and then I obviously have to have my lip balm so I'm taking the Laneige and this is the I think this is the grapefruit so this is great I have to have a lip balm on me all the time and two more products obviously the, oh I forgot the concealer I need a concealer right so this is the one from Chanel so the tube looks exactly the same as the lip gloss it's just a little bit it's almost the same height yeah <laughs> so um this is my favorite concealer as of the past i don't know four months or so uh, most of the time i wear this okay i still go through some of the conceals that i have but if i have to have a better makeup day and this is my favorite it's it's very lightweight but at the same time is I have a good coverage and it's not creasing on me and I love it I have it in the lightest um, shade so yeah I think it's like 10 or something like that so Chanel concealer is my life and the very last product that I'm gonna take with me it's another lipstick and this is another Gucci and this one's called the wife versus secretary I love this I mean this is such a summer color right you guys and I have been wearing this one a lot quite recently this one is not as moisturizing as this Gucci okay um, this one in a skinny tube they are more juicy more kind of you know emollient um, these are longer wearing because they are a little bit drier but they are not like I don't want you to think that they are dry or matte no, they are actually pretty comfortable, but obviously, you know, I always kind of put some kind of, you know, either lip gloss or this lip maximizer just to give a little bit, you know, a little bit gloss, a little bit plump to my lips. So that's usually what I do. So that's it, you guys. My cosmetic case is all empty. <laughs> so obviously this is the insert. See if I take it out, that's how it looks like. So the insert is, it's quite helpful, you guys. Yeah, it is Zomani. I was right. It is from Zomani. I love it because, you know, this way is just giving you a little bit better way of, you know, organizing your makeup. And I, I think I like the organizer in my cosmetic case, cases better than in my handbag. Sometimes in my handbags, I just like to kind of throw things in and I feel like sometimes the organizer makes the bag a little bit too bulky. But you know, for the cosmetic case, I love it because it just gives you a little bit more structure and organization. So yeah, this is it. This is all I have in here, you guys. Um, that's all I'm gonna be taking with me. And uh, I don't even know if I'm gonna use all of it, but you know. <laughs> That's what I like. That's like kind of my minimalistic makeup and you can tell that I'm struggling with those zippers. Let me know if you know anything how to fix those zippers because they are really driving me nuts. It was like, it's the same case with, with those backpacks, you know, like, oh my God, to open those zippers, it was just a headache, you know, with my, um, with my older handbags, Louis Vuitton handbags, it's just so much easier. You know, those zippers are like butter and, oh why is such a struggle in here so anyway that's it for today thank you so much for watching you guys i hope you have a wonderful day don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel if you do have any questions please let me know i will obviously link all the makeup in the description box that's what i use in my middle age <laughs> for the middle age woman and uh yeah those are the things that works for me just for the record i do have a dry skin on a drier side so just keep that in mind and um, like this foundation oh, you have to check it out you have to check it out it's really good all right guys i hope you have a wonderful day i'll talk to you soon bye